The sauce is so creamy. Oh man, I don't understand. Get in there, boy. Wow, oh my gosh. What's up guys, it's me, Eliana, and we are here at the heart of Auckland City because today's video is all about Korean street food. From the more traditional to the trendy, we are going to be hitting up two spots in Chancery Square. The first is Obar Snack Bar for the more traditional Korean lunch bar spots, and then moving on to the more modern and Moorish Mighty Hot Dogs for their Korean style hot dogs. I am incredibly excited, I hope you guys are too, so let's go! popular for the Korean like street food slash snacks. It's pretty much like really similar like if you go to Seoul and you go to a lunch bar spot, that's pretty much what this is and it's really popular among like students since it's pretty affordable for like how much you can get. Super excited, we got a couple items like kimbap, bakbaki and all that good stuff so let's eat. Okay so our food has arrived and I mean look at this beautiful tray of food. So starting off with the rose Tteokbokki. I mean, wow, look how amazing that looks. And then we got some pork belly kimbap, some spicy fried chicken, and their dumplings. Very excited, let's dig in. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the rose tteokbokki. And I love me some tteokbokki. Essentially, the rose just means that there's cream, so it's a bit lighter in color, hence the rose name. So it's gonna be spicy and slightly sweet, so let's give it a go. Mm. That is just so good. The tteokbokki is so chewy, as it should, and like the sauce is so creamy. It has a really good amount of heat level because of the gochujang, obviously. Oh my goodness, this is just, just something that you would just love to snack on for lunch. Really good start. Oh, I also just realized there's pieces of fish cake, so I'm gonna take a bite with those. I like the addition of the fish cake because it adds a nice fishiness to it, but just like the, there's a party in my mouth from the, the texture to the flavor. Wow. In comparison to what this tastes like, if you had the fire noodles, specifically the carbonara flavor, it's really similar to this. So if you like that, you'll love this. Right, it's time to dig into their kimbap. I mean, it looks so beautiful and just bite sized units. It's a Korean seaweed rice roll. We got theirs with pork belly. It's also got some fake crab meat, radish, um, carrots. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Oh man, you know, the seaweed and that rice just give it a very nice, um, very nice texture. Like, it has a good bite to it. That pork belly is very good in it. The radish, the carrots, the, 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 the spinach, I think, give it that nice tangy freshness. And I, and I love the fake crab meat. How can you not love fake crab meat? It's got a dusting of sesame as well on top. Oh yeah. But so good to snack on. Very good. Okay, next is their dumplings. I actually have no idea what they're filled with. An, an unidentified meat substance, but it is fried. It's slathered on with some uh, mayo and ketchup, I believe. Mmm. Oh yeah. No, it's not ketchup. It's more like a spicy red sauce. Gotcha, jam. <laughs> it's just so nice to snack on. It's very crunchy. I like the filling inside. It's very meaty. It's just so comforting. And the slathering of the mayo and the, the gochujang sauce, it just elevates it to another level. You know, takes that plain wrapper and just gives it that extra kick of flavor. Yes. So, time to try their spicy fried chicken. I've actually had this before because if you didn't know, Obar Snack Bar is their lunch version. And then if you want dinner and you want some drinks, there is literally Obar, <laughs> which we're actually sitting like right across. So I know this is gonna be pretty good. Mm. You just cannot go wrong with fried chicken. As long as it's cooked, <laughs> like I'm gonna love it. And that red sauce, you know, the gochujang, the spiciness, the sweetness, the saltiness, it just works. This would be wonderful with some soju, but uh, <laughs> let's not take it there. Let's keep this wholesome. Wow. Okay, we're gonna do a pretty alpha move. We're gonna combine the kimbap with the rose tteokbokki sauce. I mean, 
let's just get in there. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, like that. I hope I don't get uh, like slander for doing that, but. Mm. That was pretty good. Oh yeah, that was a big brain move right there. You know what? I shall follow in Yanbi's footsteps. You know, some of these dumplings don't have a some of the don't have the sauce anymore. So, Let's get in there, boy. Needs to take a bath into that. Oh, this is gonna be good. It just works. It just works. Alpha move right there. All right, that ends the meal here at Obar Snack Bar. Honestly, you guys have to come here. It is just a vibe and the food is also really really good and you know ending it with a Korean pickled radish All right, we got the goods. I'm so excited. I mean this box is just gonna be a bundle of joy. BTS locavore TikTok in action. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, so we got the goods. Very, very excited. So I'm gonna start. Well, I'll just show you what we got. So starting off, this is their mozzarella one, the mighty potato, and there's a missing one, but we'll show it. It is basically like the what is it? Basically the giant hot dog, but that's for our parents. Um, this is the rice cake, and this is chocolate peanut, also known as Snickers. Yeah, I'm just gonna start with the mozzarella because it's. Kind of falling apart because it's literally just cheese on the inside but i am so excited oh also forgot to mention all of them we asked to coat it in sugar i know it's optional but it is a must it is a must okay mm. Mm. i got the cheese pulled okay <laughs> oh jeez I had to cut the cheese pull because the cheese pull was getting a bit too long. But I got it. I got it. Wow. Oh my gosh. If you know me, I love, like, out of all the fried foods, the corn dog is just my favorite. And the Korean fried hot dog just elevates it to another level with their different like fillings and like the sugar of course and the sauces it's just the koreans are on another level it's just fluffy inside and the outside is crispy <sighs> i am in heaven right next bite i mean look at this this is like street food porn at its finest this is their mighty potato basically they have some chopped up bits of fried potato that they coat this beautiful almost hedgehog-esque um, corn dog into. I think we put some cheese and ketchup in it. Is it? Yeah. Cheese and ketchup. And it's filled with a hot dog. No cheese in this one, inside at least. But, oh man. Oh man. I had no hot dog whatsoever. The hot dog's so good. It's basically, you're basically eating crispy bits of fried potato coated in sugar. You feel that um, fluffy batter as well. The, the, the cheese and the ketchup. Let me just, let me just get another bite of the hot dog. Oh yeah. Mm. That is a street food at its finest, guys. Like you got those crispy potatoes, this sweet and salty combo from the, uh, you know, the, the cheese and the sugar coating, the ketchup and that hot dog. It's so simple, but it's so beautiful. Such an effective, effective vessel of deliciousness. Oh man. All right, we're having a wild card hot dog right here. This is their rice cake, also known as tok. It has no hot dog, no cheese. It's purely just rice cake. And we topped it. This is where it gets a tad weird. We topped it with um, their chocolate sauce and their cheese sauce because we already love sweet and salty why not add just weird savory just all the elements flavor elements you can think of let's get it <laughs> hold up <laughs> okay come through the chocolate is a bit more prominent but 
I can taste that very mild cheese sauce. <laughs> wow. <laughs> because if you get the rice cake, essentially it's just acting as a blank canvas for all the sauces because it's very plain, really chewy. So it's just a part in your mouth with all the textures. All right, last one, the dessert hot dog. It's basically a whole deep fried Snickers bar in, in their um, proprietary coating. We put some extra, extra chocolat, just cause, we, just cause we can. And it's also coated with sugar, just just cause diabetes. So let's, let's get into it. Oh my. Oh my. Oh <laughs> You know the Snickers um, motto? It's like, you're not you when you're hungry. This porn dog could, could single-handedly solve world peace. If everyone just had one, what the heck? That's just Moorish on a whole nother level. You got the peanutty, caramelly, chocolatey Snickers. And like, that fluffy coating just acts as like a nice textural counterbalance to it. Oh man. <laughs> oh my goodness, let me have another bite. Oh man, I don't understand. That corn dog just transcends dimensions. That's that's the one. I'm vibing with this one the most. Oh my goodness. Oh, Mighty Dog, you're doing God's work. That's the one. Okay, so that wraps up Mighty Dog. And what can I just say? This is an absolute must in the city. Like, if you just love anything fried or anything hot dog or whatever, you have to come here. They're actually really, really popping right now, mainly because of Tiki Tok. Oh, me and your Tiki Tok. <laughs> so yeah, you, it, they're definitely not hard to miss once you are in the Chancery area. Highly, highly recommend if you guys haven't hit them up yet. It will genuinely change your life. So that ends our Korean street food and snacks video here in Auckland City, or specifically Chancery Square. We hit up Obar for the more traditional Korean lunch bar meals. Highly, highly recommend. And then we moved over into Mighty Dog, literally just five meters down the road for their more modern and trendy Korean hot dogs. And for a little bonus feature, we didn't get to visit them today, but number one pancake for their Korean pancakes, or also known as hot dog. We actually have a little video featuring them. We'll put it in the link down below or whatever this is called. And with that, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching another one of our food and travel videos here in Auckland City. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.